In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Digital Performer 8 to send MIDI to Notion 4. This is in a Rewire 2 session, 64-bit mode, where Digital Performer 8 is the Rewire 2 host controller, and Notion 4 is a Rewire slave. Now, it uses a virtual MIDI cable and that's set up in audio MIDI setup and it's the IEC driver and you want to make sure that that's online by checking this box and by default uh, it's going to have some buses and ports in there this is IEC bus 2, IEC bus 1 and so everything's fine there in Notion for preferences, you're going to want to make sure that uh, Concert A is 440 hertz. That's not the default, so you need to set that if you're in the U.S. and want to use standard Concert A. You want to click on the MIDI tab, and you want to make the MIDI input port your virtual MIDI cable, and this example I'm using IEC driver IEC bus 1 and I've got the MIDI output set to IEC driver IEC bus 2 but uh, generally the output in a rewire 2 session is going to go to the rewire 2 host controller. Now I have two staves in the Notion for score one of them is set to Mach 5, it's a VST instrument, and it's a Mark 79 electric piano. And the other one, which is what we're going to use uh, for MIDI, is a FabFilter Twin 2, and it's set to uh, Stratosphere Guitar. And the output for Mach 5 and for the FabFilter Twin 2 are set to output. The master stereo track output is set to the channel 1-2 pair. So Notion 4 is going to send its generated audio to Digital Performer 8 over the uh, channel 1-2 pair. Now I've already done this a couple of times so I'm going to delete what I already did and then now let's look at Digital Performer 8 over in Digital Performer 8 uh, I've got two tracks I have a Notion track and that's the that's where the rewire is coming in and I've got it set to the Notion 1-2 channel pair its input is set to monitor and then I have a MIDI track that I created it's external MIDI track and also went through and I set the velocity to maximum so that I can hear everything it doesn't have an input monitor I also have the microphone and I've got it on input so that's what's going on there uh, you go to quick scribe and you can see that I've got music notation and uh, it's kind of pretty interesting I'm gonna raise this note a little bit this is the music notation that's going to generate MIDI that's going to then uh, play the notes on the FabFilter Twin 2 down in Notion 4 and this is how it looks as MIDI you can see these little yellow bars here it's like a piano roll this part down here is for different types of uh, MIDI commands CC's uh, you can just do all kind of stuff down here uh, Notion will do some of it but not all of it uh, and I'm not even sure if it does some of it okay now we're going to switch back to Notion and what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the start now you'll notice that I have the Twin 2 set 
to use channel 5 and that's done by clicking on the staff pressing shift I shift plus I and you'll see there's a default channel drop down and you just set it to channel 5 say OK and then the cursor changes to this text I've already done that so there's no sense in doing it twice now you want to have the twin two staff selected that's the staff to which the MIDI sent from Digital Performer 8 is going. Now you want to click on Start Record. You want to start recording. And then you want to go down here and you want to click on stop and you'll see that the music notation has been automatically converted and everything's fine and while it would be tempting to um, go up here and set this to voice 4 and record uh, something else on top of what's already there that doesn't work and so you, you don't want to do that now, uh, in Notion the way you see the voices is you go up here and do show voice colors and you can see that there's already uh, black purple I guess violet so that would be why it, it, you know in theory you would select voice 4 but I tried it and it gets it but then when you stop recording it overwrites what's already there with the new stuff so the smarter way to do that would be to go in here to um, score setup create a new staff and then just record whatever you wanted to record on that staff that's a smarter way to do it it's kind of like driving a you know finely tuned race car that uh, you know needs a little nudge every once in a while that's the way I look at it I don't view any of it as being uh, you know bugs or anything like like that it's just doing so much stuff that you know sometimes you just have to kind of you know bang on it a little bit but it does work and it's very reliable and it's super easy to do in digital performer 8 Okay, thanks.